Previously, we took a look at signals in slots as a way to make our widgets do something. For example, um, here we have button 1, and its signal is clicked. And whenever that signal is given off from button 1, button 2 is going to react by calling its hide function or hide slot. Um, so we connected these two with the connect function here. So we're going to take a, a second look at signals, slots, and connecting them. I want to take a look at this connect function call here and see what information was transferred. So first off, button 1 sent out the signal clicked. So that indicates to the world that button 1 was clicked. That's all the information that was transferred. And button 2 responds to that. That's how we, wh why we have this connect function here. Um, we didn't put anything inside the parentheses because there was no additional information. The only information was that the button was clicked. Um, it's possible sometimes to transfer some extra information along with it. So I want to take a look at how that is done real quick. Uh, so what we're going to do is in our program, I'm going to add a label here. And whenever we type something, that text is going to go to the label. So first we got to make the label, Q label. We're going to add it to the layout. And so now our program has the label in it right here. Right now there's no text in there. We can give it some default text so that we can see that it's there. Okay, so that's where the label is. Now, what I want to happen is whenever I type text in here, it's going to transfer down to the label also. So somehow we have to connect the line edit to the uh, to the label. So remember, we're going to have four things here. We're going to have the sending object and the receiving object, and then the signal and the slot. So let's see, what's going to be the sending object? It's going to be the line edit. And there's going to be some kind of signal. We'll come back to that. The receiving object is going to be um, the label. And the receiving object is going to be, we'll get to that, in a, or the receiving slot is going to be something else. So, all right. So, line edit is going to send out a signal when we type something, and label is going to react to it somehow. So, what signal should we send from line edit? Let's see what we have available. All right, autocomplete gives us these, these options here. And text changed. That looks like a good one. Notice that some of these signals have nothing inside them, and some of them have uh, some information inside. So it says that there's a Q string. This is similar to a standard string from the C standard C++ library, but it's part of the QT library instead. So this signal, text changed, um, gets emitted as well as the string, the characters that are inside of the text or the line edit. So we'll see a little bit more of, of what that means uh, as we do this. So line edit is going to send the signal text changed along with information of what's actually the text is. And then when slot receives that, how is it going to react? When uh, label receives that, how is it going to react? Well, let's see if there's any slots that do anything with a Q string. I'll set style sheet, set text. That looks like a good one. All right, so just to recap what should happen here, line edits sending a signal, labels receiving it. Uh, the signal that line edit will um, send out is text changed with the, the Q string that's inside of it. And whenever label receives that, it's going to set its text to that same Q string. Let's see how that works. All right, so starts off as we did before. Let's see what happens when I t change the text. All 
Okay, so it does exactly what we expect. Every time that I type a new letter, it sends out the signal text changed with, along with the string that's inside the, the line edit and label is going to react because we connected it to that signal and it's going to change its text to that same string. So how, how do we know about all these different classes that we've been using and or what signals and slots are available? So um, it seems like I've been kind of pulling them out of thin air. Well, uh, there's a couple of ways that you can know it. For In the um, case of signals and slots, notice that autocomplete gave us some information. So when you want to see what signals are available for a line edit, what signals it can give off, when you type signal and then the parentheses, it automatically pops up with the different signals that the line edit can give off. So we just cho chose the text changed Q string slot, or I'm sorry, um, signal. How did we know what slots were available from a, a Q label? Well, same thing. Once we type the parentheses here after slot, it gives us a bunch of choice for its slots, and then we can pick one out of the group. Um, but as far as finding out what objects there are available to us, how do I know about Q widgets, Q box layouts, push buttons, line edit, label, etc.? Well, what we can do is we can go to the, the QT website. If you Google QT project and go to the first thing that shows up, all right, here we can look at the documentation for the QT library. There's a couple of ways that you can go about this. Let's say you want more information about a particular class. Like I want to know about QLine Edit. You can just type it in here and it'll say QLine Edit Class Reference. And it'll give you all the information that you want about QLine Edit. It'll have a, a short description describing like how, how generally you use it. Um, It'll give all the member functions that you can call on it, etc. Um, but you can also, like, let's say you don't know what class you're looking for. You just want a class that does a certain thing. Well, on the documentation screen, um, it separates the library into modules. Qt has a few different, or more than a few, several modules here um, because it does several things. It has the core part of the library that other parts depend on. It also has the queue string. Um, and, and other uh, functionality to it. Qt GUI, multimedia, network. Um, you can see there's a database uh, part to it also. Um, widgets. So if you're looking for more widgets that might do what you want, you can click on Qt Widgets. And it's going to give you a list of classes or a description of widgets in general. So here it gives examples of some different widgets that you can use. And it should eventually give a full list of uh, the widgets that you can that you can use. So that's um, once you have the basics of Qt down, then uh, you don't need to be taught directly uh, what's available to you. You can just go to the, their website and look for the thing that you need.